So, I got all this stuff now. What are we gonna do with all this stuff? I don't know. I don't quite know yet. <laughs> My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Planet Nomads. I had a little rest with my sleeping bag. That shit sucks. Uh, it's way better than sleeping outside with the sleeping bag, but, uh, yeah. Not ideal, I would say. Anyways, we've, uh, discovered this beacon. So, that's, that's pretty nice. There is another one further that way. And, uh, I'm quite curious. Let's see how the batteries are doing. I got 59 minutes, but uh, I do have some secondary batteries stashed away. So now we're heading mostly east, so we're gonna have to go southwest to get back to the base. Oh my, it looks like there's a, a big patch of water here. Can I skirt this somehow? Oh, it's the desert. The desert! It's a, a climate change kind of thing. So we might be able to find some more goodies in the desert than we were able to in the jungle. Because I basically built all the shit that I need to build in the jungle. We discovered a secondary base. That shit's fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah. I shall call it home for just a moment. But I need to, uh, explore that, that desert area and see if we might find some silver... Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Hmm. I don't know if there is a way across this water. It looked like a pretty short ways away and you could like kick it around. There it is. There it is. There's a little crossing. At least I hope it's shallow enough. I still don't know if my water or my uh, my car is water submersible. But I guess I don't have to find out quite yet. So this is the desert. Welcome. Oh, are these beetles naughty? I don't know if they're naughty, but I can definitely kill them with my car, as I should do. Get these bugs. Get these bugs all out of my place. Oh god. They're coming. Alright, you want some of this bitch? That's right. That's what happens. Think you can fuck with my car? It's not gonna happen. Try to loot this while it's moving. A little bit of meat. Probably not enough to go fucking chasing all those down. Whatever, I'll just kill something big. <laughs> Let's see what we get in here. Nothing new, carbon and silicon. And how about this? Carbon and iron. Yeah, I might need to go a bit deeper into the desert. There's some silver. Been poisoned. Hell yeah. How did I get poisoned though? Oh, it's this thing. You have been irradiated. Oh no! How could this happen to me? Uh uh, I don't want to leave my vehicle too far behind. I do have a few silver, a little aluminium. So this is all going to come in pretty handy. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, let's bring the car around. You're becoming tired. I just fucking rested. I guess being radiated takes a lot out of a man, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's kill this thing. Boop. Where are those boxes? There they are. A little bit of silver, a little bit of aluminium. We're doing good things here, gentlemen. Gentlemen, let us commence ourselves. Look at that, 24 aluminum, 11 silver. Oh yes, oh yes. I'm liking that a lot. Put some silicone here, a little more carbon. Some more iron. Now we're full up. I'm going to have to build another container. That's not too hard. The hard part is finding it amongst all this, uh, this crap. <laughs> uh, don't need a cockpit for now. Let's just pack this container on. Hey! Hey, buddy! 
Hey, friend! Hmm, I thought I had some platings in this one. Nope. I will keep raw materials in here. At least try and keep things a little organized. Otherwise, my brain is gonna fucking explode. That's how it goes sometimes. There's some more carbon. Jeez, we got a lot of that, don't we? And I think that's all for raw materials as far as what I want to put in there. Hmm. Oh, there's some biomass. I stashed that. And then the other container, I can put a uh, plating. Oh, they're on the same screen. I did not really notice that before, but I'm glad I did now. So I'm not trying to swap around and have somebody yell at me in the comments. <laughs> Dayton, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> Alright, I'll eat some bio paste. My fucking Good sleep time. meter is dropping so fast. There's some cobalt. Yes! Yes! Used in 3D printers. Excellent. So, I'll swap this and I guess the herbages. Herbages can go in the other one, and then the other one's for metal. That makes good sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Keep the inventory nice and clean. I can just fuck up the, uh, the car's inventory. Wonderful idea! Smashing! Superb! Tally-ho! Alright, so I found the desert. I found the desert by going pretty far north, right? We went north? Yeah, we did. <laughs> God damn it. I took like a five minute break between episodes and all of a sudden I'm like, huh? Duh? Aluminum, silver. Excellent. This is the place that I need to be. Oh, nutrition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to uh, head back to base now. I'm sure there's other things that I could get if I head in another direction, such as fur further south. Kill those bugs on my way out. Because fuck them! Fuck them, that's why! And, uh, little tertiary bases over there. I could go over there and uh, build a, a coffin and get myself some rest. I think that's probably not a bad idea. I don't know... I guess if my sleep drops to zero, then I'm going to start losing health and shit like that, which is uh, something that I want to avoid. So, let's find our way back. I can't see the beacon through all these trees, so it's kind of pointless to put it. But it makes me feel good. Cause beacons make me feel good! Da -da 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 -da. I also uh, want a little more biomass. Not that I'm gonna stash so much in them beacons. Oh, these these plants are, are rich in the biomass. I get as much biomass from these little fucking trees as I did from the giant giant redwood trees. You've been poisoned. Oops, that's not open. I want to get in. Can't you see? Can't you see? You belong to me. Alright. Oh, and I want to go over here. Is that the singing crystals? Those singing crystals again? Oh, I'm so happy. Aluminum and silver. And even a little bit of cobalt. A smattering of cobalt! Yes! Wonderful! I am nearing exhaustion, aren't I? I'm trying to build myself a coffin, if you would allow me to do that. Hmm. The hardest thing in this game is finding the shit. Compact med bay, that's not what I want. Stasis chamber, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, let's remove this cone shape. Cone-shaped armors. And I'll put this here. Not enough resources. Not enough resources. Well, you know what? 
I have a basic frame. Just uh, give me a minute. Give me a minute, I'll get it. I'm opening the battery pack. That's not what I want. Here's some of this, and some of that, and some of these. Do I need platings? I'm not sure. Do I need fabric? I'm not sure. I'll just take it all out because... Because fuck everything. That's why. <laughs> if my health is dropping from the exhaustion. No, not quite yet. But it's due soon. There we go. And electronic parts I need to synthesize. A little more saving. I guess I can appreciate that at this point. Because, uh... Because, uh, I got a lot of stuff to save, you see? Don't you see? I discovered a bunch of shit. I got some silver and aluminum, which I was lacking. Fear of the unknown should not keep me in my base forever. That's just how it go. So we need carbon and silicon. I have that. No problem. Hmm. What can I make with these aluminums and silvers? I don't quite recall. Ah, I'll leave those stashed in there for now. I think there was also some goodies in here. Yes, quite a bit actually. I shall Nutrition take. Level dropping. <gasps> Nutrition level, no! I didn't have to synthesize electronic parts, but I did. That's okay. Let's have a drink. Secured. And a little snacky snack. And then I can get to, uh, get to Betty by. There we go. Drop all my goodies back off. Mm-hmm. Some frames and platings and fabrics. What a life we lead, gentlemen. Wonderfully done. I don't have a ton of silver or aluminum, but I think it's going to be enough to do the things that I need to do. I think. should probably make some more uh, batteries for my multi-tool as well. That's my last one. The one I have now is almost depleted. Just uh, a little quick nappy nap so I don't end up dead. <laughs> That'd be helpful. Here's a little more food. Good night! Episode's not over! You are becoming tired. No, I'm not. Bro, I'm not. Oh, I didn't plug the fucking... Ugh, I didn't plug it in. I'm supposed to plug it in. God damn it. Well, that's a, a bit of a mistake, but... Somebody reminded me of that in the comments, and I apologize for disregarding it. If I disregarded it the first time. Um... Which I don't think I did. I think I did plug it in the first time I used it. But I can't be sure. I can't be so for surezies. What the fuck? Are we are we over capacity? Yes we are because of the fucking beacon. Oh god. I guess I can disassemble the beacon. Or at least disconnect it. There, switch it off. How's that? Will that do? Sucking up all my fucking power. Yeah, this generator is now at capacity. We could build uh, ones with more capacity though. That's quite nice. Medium 3D printer. What do I want? I want composite parts MK1. And two silicones each, so I could make seven batteries at the moment. I'm just still not quite sure how to split stacks and things like that. But that's fine. I only got ten of these. I'll pop them in there. I'll do some stuff. Trust me. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. No, nope, that's not what I'm trying to build. This one. Bam. Bam. It'll take 59 seconds to craft that up. Maybe I can build a second generator. Ah, but it's kind of a waste. I mean, what's what's the point? This beacon is already marked on my fucking map. 
as a distress signal. Oh, the distress signal's way out there. 1.4k. Hmm. It's alright. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. At some point, I'll be back to this magical mystery land. We got 38 minutes, 39 minutes left on the batteries. So, uh, I should power this down, I think. Couldn't hurt. Finish it up. Here we go. Very nice. Thank you for your service. And, uh... You can have a nice rest. Damn it. Turn off. Excellent. Should I take this biomass? I guess I will. No reason to leave it here. Hooray! Hmm, I think I left my composite parts in there. Whatever. It's fine. My main concern now is, uh, finding my way back. Back homeward. Homeward bound. I should have maybe got some more aluminum and stuff. Because this is going to be a long trek to make if I have to come back and do it again. But it's okay for now. I just want to see how useful this stuff is. Oh, there's so many bodies of water. Which is uh, a helpful thing. Kind of. <laughs> but it also might drown my vehicle. And that ain't good. And that's not good. But it seemed to make it through that water okay. I jumped a little bit. I gasped somewhat. Hmm. Start scanning the skies for my beacon. I don't know. I think this is the correct way. There's the giant hole that I dug out. Got a little stuck in. Is it? No, there weren't bugs. There weren't bugs in my hole. There were like rock gorillas next to it. Bugs in my hole. Heh, <laughs> gross. Maggoty vagina. Hmm. That beacon 2k over there. Oh god. How can I get safely down this? I'm just so paranoid of my fucking truck flipping over. It happened way too easily. Here we go. Now where, oh where, has that beacon gone? I think I said I wanted to head southwest to get back to my home. It's probably a good ways away. But I'm hoping that I can uh, spot the beacon. And then I'll be for sure on which way I'm headed. I don't have that much battery power left. I'd like to just uh, have my car die right as I get home. That would be most convenient, would it not? Yes, quite. Hmm. I'm kind of just heading towards those two beacons over there because I know uh, my home is somewhat in that direction. There it is. Hey! Don't fall down the hole. That would be a tragedy. So fucking close. Those beacons are super helpful. I am glad I built. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Please help me, Jesus. Help me, Tom Cruise. Oprah Winifrey. <laughs> Oprah Winifrey. She started out as just a talk show host, but you know what happened? She's still a talk show host. But people are in her book club! And you get a car. And you get a car. I got so much money, I don't even know what to do with it. So I will Im give you a car and impose a tax burden on you. <laughs> uh, that's so nice, I guess. Now I have to sell this fucking car? Ah. <laughs> huh. uh, that wasn't such a bad trip. We did go quite a ways, but uh, not too bad. All things considered. Hey, everybody! Daddy's home. Oh, gotta remember to turn these... These generators off. Save a little battery power. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One... Two... Excellent. So, I got all this stuff now. What are we gonna do with all this stuff? I don't know. 
I don't quite know yet. Upgrade. Upgrade everything. I'll take the full stacks. I'll leave the shitty ones in there. I don't need that. This fucking thing wasn't connected to power either. So thank you. The person that told me to connect it to power, you're a fucking champion. Um, why is this connected to two? Here, disconnect. I'm gonna turn this off, but I do want to keep it, uh, connected here. I just don't need it to burn fuel at the moment. And this is doing okay now. But unfortunately, that means my... My food producer wasn't working while I was away. Which fucking blows. I don't like that at all, man. Shit. Oh well. Nothing can be done. Hindsight's 2020 kind of thing. Let's make some more uh, fresh waters. How many do I need? I'll make eight. That should do. And now we flop back to this here build menu. Hoverjack. That is a good thing to make. I think I means I can modify my vehicle uh, even after building it and driving it around. Because the winch doesn't work that or the other jack doesn't work that way. Jack tool? You gotta place on the ground, build on top of it, and then you remove the tool. But the hover jack, I think you can uh, you can just drive the vehicle over it, and hopefully it'll lift into the air. Hopefully. I don't know, we'll see. We gotta build two electronic and two composite, but it's gonna be the tier two ones. So I will need some uh, some silver and whatnot. Zayanite. Oh god, titanium. We're gonna have to go to the north, aren't we? Well, no, no time like the present, I do suppose. Take some of this here water. I bring this with me. And, uh, I got some meats. Don't I have some meats? I think I left the meat in the truck. Oh shit! I left the meat in the truck! <laughs> That's gonna go bad. That's gonna spoil. Post haste. Here we go. Hmm, I'm sure there's something that I can build. I don't need to set out immediately. Especially since I know I'm not gonna make it there this episode, necessarily. I can make 14 dried meats. I will do it. Wonderfully done. 20 purified waters. Mmm, quite nice. Hmm, we've got buggy wheels. All-terrain version of the standard wheel. Maybe this is what I should have put on my fucking car. It costs about the same. It's just a, a buggy wheel. What's the disadvantage to having it? I don't know, is the answer to that. Hmm. We could make a winch. I don't know what the point of that would be. But we could make one. Indoor light. Maybe I should make just some, uh, some base. A little bit more base. That might be quite nice. Oh man, I really want to make the hover jack. Above all else, the large greenhouse also requir requires tier 2. Requires. <laughs> oh my. Oh my, yes. Hmm. Maybe I can use a basic jack. I don't know. This theory hasn't been tested. Place on the ground, build on top of it. I mean, perhaps. It might work. I don't know. Not enough resources. Need at least a basic frame to get started. So, okay. I got some basic frames. I got some sheet metal. What you want? What you want? Here we go. Now use the jack. Oh, I need mechanical parts and composite parts. Do I have those? 
Here's mechanical parts. But I left all my composite parts. So let's get to cooking some of those. Couldn't hurt, right? I'll make ten more. It's always good to have them on hand, so I'm just not uh, standing over the generator the entire time. Right? Right. I think so. <laughs> you, you guys have probably seen a lot of this inventory screen. And I apologize for that. Let's see about this jack. Crouch down. Craft. And it, it doesn't work. Yep. That sucks. I could make a second vehicle, though. That might be good if the first one gets stuck. Eh? Hmm. Why not? I gotta build it kind of far. Because I want it to be large. Let's do it... Here. But first, autosave. Really, I should be heading to the south, I think. We'll head to the South Pole and uh, try and get some shit done. Oh, trouble. Every time. Oh, God. No, I don't need two. Just the one, please. Just one, please. Hmm. Mobility. Let's make the 3x3 three three cockpit. Ooh, they got 2 by 3 rounded cockpit. Dang. Narrow size and curvier model. Ooh. You guys like a curvy model? Wow. Oh, there's a, a start. Oh god, why do I keep doing this? We need glass components, electronic, and composite parts. Did I bring my electronic parts? I guess I didn't. Hmm. And how do I make glass components? Oh, that's not so bad. I just forget how many it was. Two glass components, four electronic parts, four composite parts. Uh, I got the electronic parts. The composite parts should be cooked up already. And there's the glass. Aha! Easy day! So we'll do this uh, work a little more piecemeal. I don't have an urgent need for a vehicle. My buggy will do for now. I'll call this episode for now. Uh, I hope you guys will join me for the next one. We're on the hunt for Xehanite so I can make those MK2 electronic components and uh, expand the base to something a little better. But for now, I'm pretty excited with uh, how the episode went. It went extremely well, all things considered. I thank you guys so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Planet Nomads. I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. Join us for the next episode. Much more fun to be had. Mysteries to be solved. And uh, maybe we'll even find that scientist guy too. Someday. Probably not though. <laughs> Anyways. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so, so, so much for watching. And until then. Bye! -bye. One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.